Good morning YouTube, this is Rick Black Rifle from North Augusta, South Carolina. Coming to you today with Springfield Armory XDM 10mm 4.5 inch semi-automatic pistol. Okay, so Now the pistol's clear and unloaded for all you lurky loos. Anyway, um, I've topped the pistol off with the Swamp Fox King Slayer Circle Dot Reticle um, Red Dot. And I don't know if you can see my red dot, but I'll try and show it to you. Looking down through the sight. I, I don't know if you could see that or not. I really like that red dot, that circle dot. That's uh, real nice. I decided uh, to change my everyday carry weapon to the larger 10 millimeter. Because when you have an attacker, you don't want to fight with him. You've got to take him out. You've got to make that first round count. Take him out of the fight. And that's it. Put him down and out. And I think the 10 millimeter is capable of that. It's like this has about the same ballistics as the 357 Magnum but then again you're uh, 16 16 shots 15 round magazine and in the semi-automatic pistol 357 Magnum power people worry about over penetration how many times have you heard about an innocent bystander getting hit by a bullet that went through somebody there's pretty much don't happen. Um, I'm not saying it can't cannot happen, but chances of it happening are slim. Uh, anyway, and uh, this is the way I see it. And turn this uh, side off. Uh, but I'll tell you that's a that's the way to go is that uh, 10 millimeter and uh, the King Slayer sight up top there I really like that that red dot um, it had this is an OSP pistol so you have to use a mounting plate for the uh, the slide cut so this one was for the King Slayer and uh, some others uh, take that same plate so um, I got that plate in, and the screw seemed like the, about a couple thousandths too, too long, so I, I just cranked down on them and just mashed them right into the top of the slide there. Um, so uh, it it crushed crushed them. So that that sight's on there. It's on there pretty tight. Uh, the screws had blue Loctite on them. Never use red Loctite for anything with firearms or mounting scopes and stuff like that. You'll have to heat it up to get it off. A red, red and make you strip or break aluminum screws. So uh, that's it. This is the Springfield Armory XDM nine, uh, 10 millimeter pistol. It's a full size pistol. But I got an urban carry uh, lock leather holster for it, and a belt, and the uh, magazine carriers. So I'm carrying four mags to include one in the chamber. That's five magazines. So, and that's it, you know. I, I believe in carrying enough ammunition with you if you get into a a situation where you have a multiple 
shooters or somebody with a uh, AR or, or an, uh, uh, what they call the assault rifle um, you want enough ammunition to defend yourself that kid at the mall had a Glock and I think he fired 18 rounds and he just had the one mag and uh, he scored three hits on the guy and he didn't go down so that was at a mall the guy was with his girlfriend in the mall and like I said he had a pistol and and that one mag and that was it and he didn't have enough ammo if that guy got back up and um, I look at it this way you know it's not the guns fault when people do these things it's the criminals fault but anyway, my state became a constitutional carry state, and um, but not really. <laughs> they call it constitutional carry, but there's some restrictions as to where you can carry your firearm. Um, VA hospitals are a soft target. If somebody went in there with a weapon, um, you'd have a mass casualty and no one would be able to defend against that because they don't allow firearms on their property they won't even let you have one in the car how about that uh, that's a big violation of the constitution right there um, I think a bunch of the veterans should get together and sue the VA for that on a, in a class action lawsuit enforce the VA to allow veterans to carry their weapons as long as they're mentally stable there's no reason they shouldn't have the ability to carry a weapon um, I believe the mentally ill and the mentally unstable um, should not have uh, weapons But then again, what defines mentally unstable, okay? Somebody with PTSD, he should be able to have a weapon. Most of those guys uh, are suffering from survivor guilt. They feel guilty that they uh, actually took somebody's life. So they're not likely to be ones that be a mass murderer. So I believe those guys should be exempt from any firearm uh, law. Anyway, this is Rick, Black Rifle, my two cents. Catch you later, YouTube. Bye-bye.